Just the other day I was minding my own business, 3D printing out the Baby Yoda, when I came across something interesting. So I came over to Tinkercad to work on this solder stand that holds my uh, solder wool and uh, roll of solder. And I noticed this, circuits. What's this? Well, let's check it out. Okay. So we got ourselves some sort of a interesting little circuit simulation over here. I can dig that. Alright, so let's uh set a uh, uh, 470 ohm resistance for the resistor. Hook the positive up to the anode. Cathode up to the resistor. And the resistor back to the 9 volt battery. And if we start simulation, there you go. She lights up. So it works. Let's do something better. Now, before we start on an actual project, um, when I did the last simulation video, I got a lot of comments that you were limited by the component availability of the simulator, and that's going to be true with any simulator. If you find a simulator, though, that uses uh, Spice, you can generally import a lot more objects. Let's take a look at the uh, parts and uh, components they have available for us here. Let's take a look at the components that are available to work with. Resistors, capacitors, you set whatever value you want. Polarized capacitors, diodes, zener diodes, inductors, push buttons, potentiometers, slide switch, photo resistor, photo diode, ambient lent light sensor, IR sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor again, PIR sensor, tilt sensor, tilt sensor, temperature sensor, gas sensor, keypad, dip switches, outputs, we have LEDs, RGB LEDs, light bulb, NeoPixel things, NeoPixel strips, vibration motor, DC motor, DC motor with encoder, micro servo, micro servo, hobby gear motor, piezo, IR remote, 7 segment, 16 by 2 LCD, 9 volt battery, 1.5 volt battery, coin cell, a potato battery, a lemon battery, breadboard, AT Tiny, Arduino, multimeter power supply, function generator, oscilloscope, then we have circuits, 555, 556, op-amp, 741, uh, 339, 393, 4N35 optocouplers. We have NPN transistors, PNP transistors, small signal NMOS transistors, MOSFETs. We have relays. We have uh, Darlington pairs, regulators, motor controller, H-Brid driver, headers, USB, logic chips. That's quite a lot. Okay, let's create an A-stable multi-vibrator using a 555 timer. Pretty simple, right? We've done it before. There we go. Get ourselves a breadboard. Which we'll call BB. And we'll put our timer in here. Okay. Then first thing we'll do is we'll connect pin 6 to pin 2. We'll make that yellow. Then we'll connect pin 8. VCC and make that red. Pin one goes to ground. We'll make that black. Then we'll also connect our 
grounds together, our VCCs together, just to make things a little bit easier. Because we need to have pin 4 go to VCC as well. Like that. So it keeps us from running wires all over the place. Okay. So next, we need tensiometer, which we put between pins 6, 7, and 8. We'll just set it, whoops, we'll set it at about 50% once we get going. And we need a capacitor. We'll do ten microfarad, and we need to connect the capacitor between lines one and two, just like that. And then we need our output from pin three. We'll bring it over here. We'll make our output lines blue. All right, that way they'll show up. And we need a resistor. Which we'll make three hundred and thirty ohms. And we need an LED. There's an LED. We need its anode on this side, like that. How about a yellow LED? Then we'll run its cathode to ground, so we'll make that a black wire. Missing anything? Oh, we need some power. So for power, we can use a nine-volt battery. Bring it over here like that. Our positive line, which will make red. Our negative line which will make black. And we'll start our simulation. And there you go. We have our LED flashing. And if we want to have even more information about it, check this out. We can come down here and bring in an oscilloscope. How about that? I'll come back to you in a second. So our oscilloscope needs to be connected to ground. And then it needs to come in here. Our circuit is coming, and we'll make that one red. You know, it's blue. That's our signal line. And we'll start our simulation. Now, how about that? Just like that, we've got ourselves a working thing. You can see the LED blinking. You can see the oscilloscope showing the waveform. We can even bring in multiple multimeters. I guess we'll say there's voltage. And we'll read our voltage across the power rail. You can see our power rail voltage there. We can come down here. We'll put it up here. Put up another one. 
read voltage again. And in this case, we will check out the voltage coming out of our output pin. There we go. So that is pretty cool. You can design your circuits to see them work without ever having to touch any components. And the best part is if you smoke a component, it doesn't cost you a dime. That's pretty cool. Okay, I hope you liked that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. Me and the Baby Yoda are out. Peace.